Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can embed Power BI report in Power Apps. So this is a kind of a view which I am going to develop or show you in Power Apps. This is a Power BI report developed in Power BI. And what is the target in this video is that how we can embed this Power BI report in Power Apps. So let's see this in action. So this is the uh, Power BI environment which I am having here. I have some sample report, sample dashboard. This is my workspace you can see here. So what I'm going to show you is this Power BI report. Now, when we say Power BI report, it can have different, different uh, pages, different filters, different visualizations. Whereas on uh, Power BI dashboard, we can have the tiles. So I'm, I'm not going to uh, go into the details of how Power BI works. Because in this video, I'm going to show that how this Power BI report having some filters on the right hand side, you can see how we can embed this in Power Apps. So what you can do is once your Power BI report is created in the Power BI environment, you can go to the file menu at the top and there is an option called embed report. Now, if you click on embed report, you will get multiple options. Click on website or portal. When you click on website on portal, it will give you a URL. Uh, Power BI URL which starts from app.powerbi.com and this URL can be embedded in Power Apps. So I'm going to copy this URL. I have copied this URL. Let's navigate to the Power Apps environment. This is the Power Apps environment. Now you see here how you can embed that Power BI URL in Power Apps. So for that what we have to do it. Let me create from a new screen so that it's pretty clear to you. It's very understandable to you in simple terms. I am uh, on a new screen. I have created a new screen. What you can do is you just go to the insert menu in the classic uh, controls. Just search for Power BI control and you will see a control called Power BI tile. Just add it on your screen. So this is the Power BI tile which has been added. It's a out of the box control should be available in your Power Apps environment. What you have to do is you have to select the workspace. In my case, as I showed you in Power BI, it is my workspace. Then you uh, can select the dashboard once it is enabled. So human resource sample is the one dashboard which is currently there in my Power BI environment and the tile, which type of tile you want to add. Let's say I want to add new higher count tile. So once I add this tile, a tile will be added in this control, which is a Power BI tile control. Now you have to understand one thing here. Here, if you are adding through a dashboard, you can only add one tile at a time. If you want to add multiple times, then you have to add multiple uh, Power BI controls. Okay, this is very important to note. Now, what if I want to add this complete report, complete report in this Power BI tile control. So for that, what you have to do is this Power BI tile controls comes with a property which is called tile URL. All right. So this tile URL, the copy tile URL, which we copied from file, embed report, website or portal. So this tile URL you have to copy in this particular property. So once you have added the URL, that is the tile URL, you have copied it from Power BI environment. That URL can be added in the tile URL property of this control, which is Power BI tile control. You can see here in my case. I have added this URL till here. Okay, this is the tile URL or the Power BI report URL which I copied from Power BI. If I uh, run this app, you see here this Power BI report is added very correctly in Power Apps. Uh, the different pages you can see actives and separations, bad hires, all these are getting loaded properly from the Power BI. So this is kind of an embedding which we have done from Power BI in Power Apps. Now, if I want to extend this example, what you can do is that uh, here you can apply some filters as well. So you can see here at the top, I have added a label. This is a label control which I've added and this is just a, a drop down control which I've added. Now, in this case, what I want to do is that based on this filter, my data in the Power BI report also gets filtered, which is in the Power Apps. Okay. So we are not uh, doing anything in Power BI for these filters. We have explicitly added in Power Apps. Now, how to add this filter? This is very important to understand that how you can add these filters in Power Apps. 
So you see here, here I have added a filter. In this drop down, I have given the items as in an array north, east, central, south, and west. Okay. Now, what I want that if I select a region, my uh, Power BI report should also get filtered based on that filter criteria. In this case, I am filtering on region. But how to apply that filter? This is very important, which I wanted to show you. So, you see here, always please remember this is still here the tile URL. If you want to apply the filter, okay, what you have to do M percent dollar filter equal to. Now, this is your table name. This is your business units slash region equal to drop down one dot selected dot value. This is the filter condition I have added. Now, why I have added like this business unit slash region? Because if I if you go to this uh, Power BI report, I click on edit. Okay. Once I click on edit, you see here the region is coming under this business units table. Okay. Now, since business and units have a space. That is why I have to specify like this business underscore x0020 underscore unit slash region. Okay. So this is very important uh, thing how you can filter it and the drop down one dot selected dot value. Whatever value I will select in uh, the drop down accordingly my Power BI dashboard or Power BI report will be filtered. So let's see this in action. If I am filtering on north, let's change this value to central. If I change central, you see the Power BI dashboard is getting filtered and giving, that, giving me the data for central region only. And here also you can see that it is showing the region as central. So that's all in this video. Here I have showed you that how you can embed a Power BI report in Power Apps. Thank you.